Hi there, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Welcome to episode number 19 of the Electrical Test Prep Series. Before we start, do you have something to take notes on? Good, let's get started. Article 240 takes us into overcurrent protection for 600 volts or less. Once again, this article takes us through most of the code book. Let's start with Article 240.2, Definitions, Current Limiting Overcurrent Device. What is that? Well, to simplify it, it's just a breaker that reduces the current when you have a short circuit. It maintains a substantially lower current rather than completely breaking the circuit. This type of device is rarely used, but you should know what it is. Article 240.2 Definitions Tap Conductors We need a diagram for this. In a multimeter service, there are taps that feed each meter. These taps are exempt from the standard rating method for conductors. As you can see, the tap conductors are clearly rated at a lower average than the main service panel but beyond the meter they are indirectly protected by a 200 amp breaker that will feed a smaller service further down the line. If a fault should occur that exceeds 200 amps, the tap conductors will be protected by the 200 amp sub-panel breaker and the main 600 amp breaker will continue to supply the other services. This takes us to table 240.3. This is the master reference on where to locate overcurrent codes and tables for various circumstances and devices. Let's give you some examples and start with air conditioning equipment listed as article 440 in table 240.3. In the book you'll see that 440.1 defines the limits of the article. You will find this to be true in almost every article so get used to it. What we're looking for is article 440.2 which when simplified means that your overcurrent device or breaker will always exceed the faceplate rating under specific conditions called rounding off. For example, if an HVAC unit has a faceplate rating of 34 amps then the correct breaker size would be 40 amps. If the faceplate rating is 40 amps, then you would size up to a 50 amp breaker. If a 45 amp breaker were available, that would be the one to use. As long as we're on the subject of Article 440 air conditioners, we really need to look at Article 440.8. All it means is that all the devices that make up an air conditioner that have various faceplate ratings, the entire unit will be considered a single machine and that the unit faceplate will be used to determine the level of overcurrent protection not a combination of faceplate rating. Let's move on to assembly occupancies. This falls under article 518 and only when the occupancy exceeds 100 persons. The only reference to overcurrent in this section is in article 518.5 which when decoded means that these areas will fall under the basic current codes already in place. Also note that the overcurrent devices for these premises will not be accessible to the general public. Moving along, let's look at elevators, dumbwaiters, and other lifting units covered under Article 620. There are only two articles that are directly related to overcurrent protection on this subject. The first article is 620.13 paragraph D which stipulates that overcurrent protection will be determined by the sum of all faceplate ratings. This is in sharp contrast to the air conditioning code. The next item I found was rather complex and can be found in article 620.61a through d. To summarize this article, it just points out where you can find specific overcurrent requirements depending on location and type of lifting device. 
Next, we look at emergency systems covered in Article 700. I only found two items related to overcurrent protection in this section. First is 700.4, which means that emergency systems will be rated at 100% so that all loads can be operated at the same time. Now, in most cases, this would mean that the emergency system would exceed the capacity of the original service. The next item I found was Article 700.25, which again means that the overcurrent devices in the emergency circuits will be accessible to authorized persons only. Let's finish this presentation with receptacles, which falls under Article 406. The only thing I could find on overcurrent protection of receptacles was Article 406.3, Paragraph B, which merely states that the minimum overcurrent rating will be 15 amps at 120 volts or 15 amps at 240 volts. Although there are 35 items in Table 240.3, my main goal was to show you how to use it to track down overcurrent requirements for various situations. If asked an overcurrent question, you should first refer to table 240.3 and from there look for keywords like disconnect requirements or obviously overcurrent requirements. If you cannot find your item in table 240.3 then look in the appendix for what article it comes under and begin your search there. With few exceptions your overcurrent device can never exceed the ampacity of the wire being used on that circuit. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.